Welcome to our little series on sit your asana down. So how do we arrive in a steady seat for our pranayama and meditation? Here is one little way we can prepare ourselves to get there. So first let's come to our seat, but with the legs forward and we'll begin with the spinal column. So we'll thread the hands in behind the thighs and we'll release the spine back behind, feeling a beautiful stretch come into the curve of the spine. Allow the chin to fall so you feel that nice stretch coming into the neck. And then exhale completely with a sense of ease. And then use the inhalation to rock forward onto the sit bone, starting at the pelvis and base of spine. And slowly lift and extend with a subtle lift of the chin. Opening through the front, gentle squeeze in the back. And exhale as you release, starting from the tail, keeping the thread of the fingers. So you can draw back away and feel a stretch again through the middle of the shoulder blades or spine. Continue flowing with the inhalation, waving from the tailbone, gently up, not crunching the neck, just a gentle lift. And using the exhalation to release back and behind until you feel a nice pull. Continue flowing, bringing in a full deep breath with a sense of ease, allowing more and more steadiness with your breath and movement as you continue to flow. I'm not looking for any particular perfection, but just a nice release through your spine, allowing your breath to guide your movement. And take this opportunity to bring your mind through the breath into the feelings held within the body and the messages that it's giving. In this way you can determine maybe to push a little further, maybe to back off and follow the body's wisdom. After this next one, go for two more full breaths. Full conscious awareness of every part of the movement. On your next extension up, simply lift to a nice neutral spine and we'll let the knees fall wide. We we'll continue to move the spine, but now coming into the pelvic or the area or the seat. So on the inhalation, grip around the shins with the feet forward or a little further back. And on the exhalation, we'll be releasing the spine back behind again, similar to what we did just earlier, letting the chin fall towards the chest. Starting at the pelvis on the inhalation, roll forwards, the knees may rise. Again, extend and as you exhale, release back, keeping the grip of the knees, the shins, just wherever is the best fit for you. Keep flowing. And one more round. inhale we'll come to lift and cross the legs nice a close cross not a wide cross but bringing the feet almost in line with the knees or in line with them holding on to the knees for some steadiness and stability and moving into torso circle so the inhale will lift through the spine the exhale will bring the body forward again with a sense of ease so no force coming around to one side on the inhalation leaning back as the chin tucks down Around the other side on the exhalation and again gently forward over the legs. Continue flowing. The inhale guiding you back and the exhale bringing you forward. Feel a movement coming from the pelvis. A gentle massage through the abdomen. And maybe feeling a bit of a stretch around the outer edge of the pelvis and hips.
the next time you come forward, bow the head down on the inhale and roll as you lift back up. Pause, close the feet a little more and flex through the ankles. And then exhale, come forward, pausing for a few breaths as you send the fingertips out in front. You're potentially feeling a nice pull through the outer hip area and through the buttocks, maybe gently into the lower back again with a sense of ease here. Using the breath to find connection into the feelings of the body and wherever you find the most resistance, that first layer of resistance from your body, breathe into that space, creating expansion on inhalation. As if you're literally expanding the space in that area and allow it to soften a little bit more on every exhalation. Go for another four full deep breaths in and out here. Or maybe a few more or a few less depending on your needs. Go for the last full breath now, deep inhalation, maybe a little bit more fulfilling and a full exhalation, releasing into any space you've created. Using the hands to help guide you back up, we'll switch to the other side, so simply recross the legs or our torso circles. We'll use grip on the knees and the inhale to lift through the spine. Exhale, release forward. And now taking it the other way on your inhalation as you go around the other side, leaning back, chin tucked slightly. Exhale, around and forward to the front over the legs. Continue flowing. Feeling the movement stem from the pelvis and the rest of the spine and torso following. The next thing, nice and relaxed on the top. Again, allow your awareness to anchor onto the breath and the movement flowing in unison. And this time as we come forward again pause briefly bow the head down on inhalation and roll through the spine to lift Get a nice length up through the sides of the waist shoulders soft and exhale as we hinge forward from the hips reaching out to cupcake the floor with the fingertips and again the side may feel a little different from the other different exploration again listening to where the body is speaking to you what sensations are and a really great way to connect with the body's wisdom again is just to simply bring the consciousness to the breath and use the breath to create an awareness on the inside. Feel as though using the breath, guiding it into the body as if it's expanding into the space where you feel a resistance from the inside opening up and exhale softening surrendering and just simply letting go a little more. The hands are there and the arms are there as your support so adjust them as you need. No expectation, just simply allowing your awareness to connect with the breath and through that into the body. Full acceptance as you take your last deep breath in and full release to where the body is prepared to take you today on full exhalation out. And then again using the hands to guide yourself back to upright. We'll bring the legs forward and slightly wider than the mat and move into a simple twist. So here you may, you may feel fairly uncomfortable through the pelvis, just bend the knees and rock up through the spine a little bit more or again you can take a fold through the legs and stay more upright here. So as it suits you, the fingertips will come to the shoulders, elbows nice and wide, walk the sit bones back. Lift up higher onto a cushioning if you need for the pelvis and to start to gently rotate. 
So feeling most of the rotation really coming from the chest, the rib cage or the thoracic spine, keeping the shoulders relaxed if that means dipping the elbows down more, that's absolutely fine. And an ascension up through the spine, up and out through the crown of the head. Nice loosening movement for the whole spinal column and the torso. You're welcome to extend it further where your hips are feeling ready and open for it by extending the arms wide and moving into a deeper twist. That puts strain on the spine or the back, then bring it back in so that there's less ask of the body. Slowing down softly and gently, arriving back in the center. We'll bring the soles of the feet to connect again in butterfly, again knowing that you can have that measure of space between the heels and the body. A little bit further forward often allows more upright extension through the spine and release through the hips. Up to you, explore as you need to. So we'll hold around the shins or knees wherever there's a good fit with the hands. And again, roll forward through the sit bones as you inhale and lift up through the spine. Exhale as we pull forward, but this time keeping the spine straight, hinging just from the pelvis, chest, open, gaze ahead. Inhale, we'll lift and extend again. Ground down through the sit bones and then pull away up through the crown. Exhale, hinging forward. Full acceptance of wherever the body will take you with a long spine. Breathing in when you're ready to lift and sit. And again, breathing out, this time going to where you can with the spine long and then gently bowing the head. We'll unroll on the inhalation to lift. And we'll exhale as you lengthen forward and then gently fold. No force here, just allowing the body to fall forward. Unroll on the inhalation up. And again, use the exhalation to lengthen and then bow down. Go for two full rounds of this with the breath guiding you through. Almost as if the breath is moving the body from the inside. The next time you come forward, we'll pause to hold. So feel into where that may be for you today. Not too much, not too little, that beautiful balance between the two. Maybe a little bit of a stretch, but there's also that sense of ease remaining. The hands again can be used like straps so that you're not folding too deeply into it, maybe pushing away a little bit and holding yourself in space at a good level of extension. Eyes can close, awareness connects with the breath and through the breath into the messages stemming from anywhere in the body and using that as a way to guide the breath into those spaces where you feel pull, where you feel any tension or resistance. Expand breaths here and then again just soften with exhale. Sometimes it's more a softening of the mind than the body. Surrendering into where you are, full acceptance of where you are and just simply being here. Where it's available to you, we will take an extension around towards the right side as we move the hands and bring some pull into the left side body. Reach out through the left arm to where you find a good level of stretch. The head can stay up, the head may bow down a little more. It just really depends on what the feelings are and how you need to adjust this posture to suit your body at this moment. Take the breath into the left side body, feeling into that line of pull, expanding the breath into this space and allowing it to soften and release and lengthen with every exhalation. After the next exhalation, just nice and slowly release. No harsh movement, no quick movement, just fluid, smooth transition, giving the body time to adjust, pause in the middle, and then release around to the other side. Again, knowing you may have to explore this a little more, 
to find how this side needs the posture to fit. Find the best placement for your head, remembering it does weigh a good three to five kilos. Notice where you feel a line of pull to the right side body, maybe down into the right hip. Breathe into the space, expanding, release and soften. After your next breath out, again nice and smooth release from here, transitioning back to the center. Pause, take a deep breath in, look through the chest. And as you breathe out, walk the hands forward or maybe hold onto the feet and release down. Maybe you go a little further, maybe you arrive where you were before, no expectation. Spend three more deep breaths here on every inhale, again expand through whole body now. Every exhale, release and soften down. After your final or third exhalation, use the hands to gently transition yourself back to upright. And we'll bring and draw the knees together. Lengthen the legs forward and now draw the feet underneath into Vajrasana and here you may like to find some support between buttocks and heels. All of this can be done from a kneeling position as well, should that be more comfortable. And bring the fingertips to the shoulders, elbows together in front. On inhalation, lift through the elbows. Open the chest, lift the gaze if you like, squeeze the shoulder blades down on exhale and draw the elbows towards each other in the front, maybe meeting, continue flowing, inhale to lift, squeeze through the shoulder blades, expand, exhale to release, and touch forward again, continue flowing. Taking your time to really get into the full movement available through the shoulder girdle, nice opening and squeeze through the front and back of the chest space. Awareness connected to the breath and movement flowing together. The next time in front, pause to reverse your movement. And this time as you come forward, release the arms to the sides. And we'll move into some gentle head and neck movements. First, release the chin forward down towards the chest. Keep the rest of the spine nice and tall, just bending from the neck area. And allowing the weight of the head to draw a little or a lot of stretch into the back of the neck space. And then just gently roll the head side to side, soft movement. Bringing a little bit of pull through the back of the neck. Just gentle movement, rocking or rolling head softly side to side. Pulling through the connective tissue in the body or the fascia. Taking note of the feelings, the sensations. Pause, steady in the center and then roll to left or right side. Allowing the ear to fall towards the shoulder without the shoulders twisting. Chest stays open. And again, just drop the head forwards and backwards. 
as if you're gliding the ear over the shoulder. Small movement to create a nice gentle pull. Gliding and gliding. Again to help release the connective tissue or the fascia to the side of your neck. Feel into the sensation as you continue flowing. Breath will be just natural and relaxed here. Adjust the pace really according to what you're feeling in the body and what suits right now. On the next time forward, allow the roll to continue down towards the center, front center, and then over to the other side. Pause for a moment, just checking the chest is open, shoulders feel level, and the ear is releasing towards the shoulder with the weight of the head, creating a line of pull. And then again, just gently rolling forwards and backwards again, knowing this side could be a completely different experience. And adjusting your speed or range of movement to really suit this. We're not expecting the body to do anything. We're just really tuning in with the awareness and the breath. To find exactly what is required at this point. And this time as you come forward, gently continue to flow the chin down towards the chest and the front. And then on an inhalation, slowly restack the spine through the neck. One vertebra on top of the other until the head feels almost weightless or balanced on the top. Be aware of the different sensation you may be feeling through the chest, through the neck and throat area, and into the space of the head. To finish, we'll lift the forearms just out. You can adjust your seat, of course, by kneeling or just coming back to a cross-legged. And then we'll turn the arms out to the side, which helps to broaden open through the chest. Try not, or well, just check really that you don't hyperextend through the lumbar spine. Keep the lower ribs in, keep the sit bones grounded. And we're just opening from the shoulders. And at this point, I'll ask you to up the chin forward the lower jaw shifts forward doesn't look great but feels great <laughs> in a moment to help pull through the deep front line of the throat and down into the front body so we jut the chin forward and then lift and just stay here for a, a few breaths being careful not to jam the back of the neck too much just a small way might bring a nice subtle pull through the front line, the deep front line of the body. You'll feel it through the throat, maybe down into the chest. It's a deep line of pull through the fascia and muscles, so be aware of the subtlety here. To come out of it, keep the chin jutted forwards. Push your tongue into the top palate of the mouth and slowly return the head to upright, resting the hands on the lap. Hariom Tatsat. Enjoy the rest of the journey and the inner realms with your pranayama and meditation.